So let us take a van tour around what I have. So I've got a long wheelbase high roof Ford Transit. Well, why don't we take a look? So this is my baby. It took me like six months to convert or so. In here I got a little, uh, well, I call it the fish tank. It's, uh, it's actually a terrarium. I got mostly succulents in there, a few cacti, and even a ficus microcarpa back in there at the back. It's like a, uh, a bonsai tree. So come on in. So over here we've got uh, an actual big bonsai tree. We've got a Smev stove over here. So this has running water. And we got stoves that are perfectly good for le cooking. So I've got four solar panels on the roof of this van. That's 400 watts of solar. I've also got a split charge relay hooked up from the alternator of my van batteries to my leisure batteries, which means when I'm driving along, my batteries charge as well. And I've also got a plug socket in the side of the van uh, that means that I can hook up at a campsite or in somebody's house and charge my batteries that way as well. And so that charges everything from the puck lights up here to little side lamp like that to our heater, that's the thermostat for my Propex heater over there, to our fan. Let's check this out. Oh yeah. off and then we all have is a smell of sweet sweet gasoline so inside the kitchen unit I've got my fresh water and my dirty water those are a little bit small those containers I think I might size them up and over to the right side I got like some bins for recycling and for normal and I also got my gas locker in there on the back right as well I've got a Gaslow 11 kg refillable gas cylinder and I can actually refill that from the side of my van. I got a little hook in point. Yeah, I got these like pretty gorgeous green cabinets here as well. So there was a really awkward space above my kitchen where the bulkhead is. It's like this place above where the driver is. And I couldn't think for ages of what to do with it. So I finally settled with making a nice little cabinet drawer like this. So I'm pretty happy with how it is. It's just mostly kitchen stuff. I think the key with vans is to make sure that everything is locked in because things just frickin' fly everywhere. Yeah, don't look in there, man. <laughs> it's real messy. I've also got a window between the front and the back, and that's really nice. It actually makes like a different ecosystem in the back of the van versus the front of the van. And especially when you've got these insulated curtains, it just means that the back is a totally different temperature than the front. And I actually tend to dry like wet clothes after I've been hiking or running or whatever in the front of the van. It does make the front of the van stink though. Uh, then I got like some nice spice racks here as well. And over here, I got these gorgeous little hanging baskets as well. Mostly for fruit and stuff. I do find if I put peaches in there, they get really badly bruised. So <laughs> I don't put peaches in there anymore. I got a Propex HS2000 heater, which is that guy right there. That's the thermostat for it actually. And the heater itself is down here. So it's inside the unit there. And that's where the hot air comes out. That's where the cool air goes in. That's like some cutlery dishes. That's not the heater, believe it or not. Got some nice painting here that my friend Dan did. He is a super talented drawer. And then I got another one of his pieces over here as well. Yeah, and more plants down there as well. Let's look at the other side. So I got this behemoth. And some people ask me, is it a shower? And I say, hell no, it's not a shower, it's a wardrobe. <laughs> because I need as much storage space as I can so I can make a real mess of it like that. Try looking for something in there, you won't find it, I swear. Underneath, I got mostly like clothes and things like that. There's plenty of room in this van, which is fantastic. And then down the bottom, I got a whole load of spooky electrics in here as well. So there are two 130 amp hour batteries, so 260 amp hours in total, sealed lead acid. I've got an inverter over here, a thousand watt inverter uh, to convert my DC into AC electricity or my 12 volt into 240 volt. Over here, I got my fuse box. Uh, because I also have shore power as well, because I, like, I, can, uh, I can hook up a campsite and charge, I have to have this garage consumer unit over here, and I also have a battery charger here, so this allows me to charge my batteries from the side. To be honest, we'll be going into that like loads later, so let's not spend too much time looking at that. This like acts as a seat um, just during the day, but if I do need to use the potty, 
you can just take it off a hey, voila we've got a chemical toilet in there it has a flusher there as well which is really nice fill it with water it flushes it out uh, to be honest i try and avoid using that toilet if i can <laughs> but it's there if i need it and i actually installed a window as well so there's the window from the inside it might be a little bit dark but i got again curtains you can pull over they're blackout curtains so nobody can see from the from the outside and they also insulate it but the window itself has 80% uh, tint I think it is which means that people can't again look in from the outside and actually the fish tank kind of looks cool from this angle check that out I'm gonna get a little baby lizard and pop him in I don't know if I actually will do that all right come on let's check out the back so I've got a really interesting setup for my bed. So this is actually a table that's on a telescopic leg. It's on like a telescopic marine pedestal. And it just goes down at nighttime and these cushions come in from the side and that forms my bed. And I just have a nice duvet underneath this. Um, this. And so like those benches have lids that can lift up and there's stuff that's inside. I've got most of my mountaineering and outdoor gear in that one and I've got all my sleeping stuff in that one. I am also a software developer and so I kind of use scrum boards or Kanban boards to organize my life as well. So everything that I need to do is on this, like to do, doing, done. These are all of the stories, uh, like the tasks to do for this van conversion course. It's pretty much all done. This is like the last video, even though you're watching it at the very start, I wanted to leave the introduction till the very end. Um, but I organize everything with that. And also I got some nice photos here, just like awesome life experiences from the past. Then over that side, I've got a beautiful painting that my friend Timmy did, who is the cameraman. Say hi, cameraman. Hi, cameraman. <laughs> then up here, we got some overhead lockers. These guys are pretty cool, just more storage space. Got my library over here with very important books that are very important. That's a very important book. Four hour work week. That's a life changing book. Read that book. I've got some other interesting little tidbits uh, like these curtains. So because I live in this van full time and during the winter it gets pretty cold. I've got these curtains that just come off like this and they just separate the front and the back of the van. Uh, so that it's like a nice insulated, again, another ecosystem in the van. And I've actually got a projector and a, um, like a pull down canvas just in the mail. So I think it's arriving this week, which is going to be exciting. It's going to be like a home cinema based in here. It'd be pretty sweet. And that there is a painting that my mom did. They're like some sheep in Connemara in Ireland. I'm Irish if you didn't know that already. Okay, I'm going to show you how the bed goes down or how the table goes down into a bed. A little thing called love. <laughs> All right. Now this is pretty sweet. I use this as a sofa when uh, when I don't need to work. I work from the van like full time from my laptop, uh, so I do need to use the table. But when I don't have to use it and like read my book, have the doors open like this, it's really nice, super comfortable. So at the back, I've got. A ladder that I installed is a ladder to nowhere because I don't have storage space up the top but I do have solar panels and during the winter if it snows on them I do need to get up there and clean it off and over here I've got a humongous and really really heavy spare wheel I kind of hope I never have to take that off because that thing was like colossally heavy I needed help getting it on that let me pop up and show you the solar panels play the camera so there we go we got 400 watts of solar on the roof like I said and we got a fan over there and we are in Glenmalure Valley in Ireland which is one of the most beautiful spots in the country that's my van tour I think I covered everything there's probably a whole load of stuff I didn't show you but you're gonna get a pretty good idea over the next 50 episodes of what's going on inside here and learn how to do it yourself so um Listen, I love this thing with every single bone in my body. It's the best thing I've ever done. And so I think you're going to really enjoy this, this journey that I'm going to take you on. So I will catch you in the next section.